that'll be on the house for you. <laughs> Is that your standard policy? You need to reserve that for people on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Mm, that'd be fine. <sighs> we'll see. I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I didn't mean to dump all this on you. I'm sure the last thing you wanted to hear was me complain about my breakup with Patrick. It's okay. I'm here anytime you need me. You've always been so understanding and supportive. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what would have happened if we would have stayed together? Okay, I, 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 I just realized how that sounded. Please don't freak out. I, I am not planning on throwing myself at you on a rebound trip. I didn't, I didn't think you were. It's not who you are. <sighs> I guess I'm just feeling nostalgic, you know? I mean, young love is it's intense and fragile and unsuspecting. It's just, it's just difficult to maintain that wide-eyed, dewy belief that love conquers all. Do you think you know, being older changes any of that? It's ironic, don't you think? You and I were set. Love lives in place. You are with Sam, I was with Patrick. And now here we are. Alone again. Mm. You so much. Patrick and I weren't even together that long. We wasted a lot of time in the beginning getting on each other's nerves. I mean, we fought almost the entire time we were together, so I don't know why I'm feeling so <sighs> unmoored. Except for the fact that uh, I really love him, of course. I know it hurts. I mean, it hurts when you love someone and you can't be with them for whatever reason. You know what the worst part is? <laughs> Work. I just had an example, actually. Uh, we break up. Five seconds later, we have to consult on a case. Patrick acts like it's no big deal. And, of course, I'm still upset, so I can't help but argue with him. You know, it just really threw me off, the way he was able to act like something mutually life-altering didn't just happen. All right, first of all, um, Patrick couldn't get over you in a matter of minutes. That would be impossible. You're not that easy to forget. It's an amazing compliment coming from you. Uh, head trauma no art. Kate Howard. I have to go. I don't have my car. You know what? We'll, we'll just take my bike. It's up. <laughs> Stop it. Thank you. Well, huh? That was fast. What's happening? Kate Howard came in with a massive concussion. There's no sign of a brain bleed. Reporters already gathered, so I put her through the ER, gave her a private room under an assumed name. Why is he here? Because I was with Jason when I got the page. He was nice enough to give me a ride on his bike. Hmm. It's super fun. I can't thank you enough for your incredibly timely rescue. Glad that I was driving by. Gave me quite a scare, though. One minute we were talking, the next you were just out. Well, for a second, I think I actually saw my life flash before my eyes, and I thought, wow, what an interesting story you would make after I was dead. <laughs> Which I have no intention of being for quite some time. Hey, how are you feeling? Well, I imagine I'm better off than my car. Do you remember anything at all? No. Well, the answer could be here in your test results. You have a very high blood alcohol level. Hey. hey. How's Kate doing? She'll be fine. I... Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. I, I just wanted to thank you for the coffee. <laughs> The ear and the ride, of course. It was, um, mm -hmm. It's all good. Good. Well, you know where to find me if you need any of those things again. <laughs> oh, don't be surprised if I take you up on that. I managed to get Robin to hold off reporting your blood alcohol level to the police, but eventually someone's going to find out about it. Jax, I swear to you, 
I didn't touch a drop of alcohol tonight, which is weird because when I came to and I saw you, I actually, I actually felt inebriated.